Hello, and welcome to the first edition of Adventures in Soap Making that I'm recording. Um, I tried yesterday with some melt and pour soap that I made. Some, like, little gummy bears. Just don't eat them. Yeah, yeah, totally not edible. But I made little gummy bears. And they'll have a use later on down the road. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Noreen. Hey! This is Bob, my lovely assistant. <laughs> Today, we're going to be adventuring and trying to make whip soap, which I have already got things kind of laid out for you. I have got 15 ounces of a whip and pour soap base in my mixer. I have one and a half ounces of melted shea butter that I'm going to be adding to it. 15 ounces of sugar, so this is going to be like a sugar scrub. And a half ounce of fragrance that my lovely assistant Bob picked out for me. That's a blend. It's called Sand and Sea. And uh, other assorted things. I've got bowls set out so that I can mix in colors. I've got all of my little jars ready to go. Everything has been washed and sprayed down with alcohol. I also have a piping bag set up with a big tip on the end of it so that I can pipe this into the little jars. And a couple of whisks. So here we go. Let's give this a try and see what happens. All right, starting out, we're just gonna start to mix this up just a little bit so that it's a little bit smoother than it was. That's, yeah, I've got the whip soap base in there. Oh, that I picked up at Hobby Lobby because I'm pretty new to this. In the past, we've made candles and this is, the, the mountain pour kind of really reminds me of making candles, but hey, that was kind of easy and I liked it and we're gonna keep trying. So this is the half ounce of fragrance that I've already measured out. We're gonna pour that into my bowl and we're gonna whip this until we get to stiff peaks. So I'm not gonna have you sit here waiting for that. I'll be right back. Okay, that just took a couple of minutes and it is to a stiff peak stage if you can see. It says that you shouldn't really over whip this because it will not keep the volume if you do. So there's my stiff peak stage. And next up, I'm just gonna be adding in 15 ounces of sugar and gonna do this kind of slowly. And we'll be back when I've got it all incorporated. Okay, so yeah, looking over the recipe, I discovered I'm supposed to add the shea butter in before I start adding the sugar, which is why I said this is adventures in soap making. This is my second attempt. We'll add that in, whip it again, and then I'll start adding the sugar. Okay, shea butter's in. We're going to go ahead and get this started with this in. Then go back to adding sugar. Then go back to adding sugar. So shea butter looks pretty incorporated. I'm going to start adding sugar. Be back in a few. Keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I think we're pretty much there. So it is light and fluffy, and I can see the sugar in it, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Next step is going to be dividing it into the three bowls that I've got sitting over here, and I'm going to add some mica to it. Okay. So I just wanted to show you. I was kind of cleaning off my beater and was washing my hands with some of the soap. This makes a really nice lather. So my trusty assistant's over here portioning out the soap for me while I'm cleaning up my hands. Bowls may not be it, big enough. I, I'm we'll kind of wondering about that. But it's, this is all a learning process. Instead of assistant, can you call me the soap, or my helper soap maker? And my helper soap maker, okay. You know, like the helper monkey. Oh. I don't know that my bowls are going to be big enough to do this. Okay, hang on. We're still going. Hey, we're back. And guess what? After dividing up what we had, it made the bowl rather full. So I don't think there's any way in God's green I'm going to be able to mix colors in with that. So we're going to dump it back into my big bowl here. And scrape it back out. And we're going to add in the colorants in this bowl. <laughs> I told you, I'm, I'm a rookie, so be kind, okay? <laughs> I know there's a lot of very experienced soap makers on here, and I am gonna measure in 
An eighth of a teaspoon. We'll try. Okay, we're just going to do this. Sorry, I was getting bored. We're just going to do this and see what color it is. And if I don't like the color, we'll add more. I probably just added way too much of that, but eh. Mm. We'll see what happens. What do you think? Cotton candy, or do you want to go darker? A little darker. <laughs> okay, let's see what that does. That's okay. It'll be pastel. Okay, pink's in the bowl. Heading off next for green. More marshmallows. Stuff. It does. It re it kind of reminds me of either marshmallow or like a meringue, but it's soap. Okay, green's next. <clears throat> oh, easy. <laughs> okay, and this is just mica that I'm putting into this. That again, I got over at Hobby Lobby because I just wanted to give things a try. Once I kind of get a couple of the melting pores under my belt, I'm going to try to be brave and adventurous and try cold process. But for the moment, scrape this one out and we'll be back. Next up, we've got... Oh, let's do the darker blue just because okay. the other ones aren't showing up. It, you can, see, can you see over there? We've got pink. We've kind of got a light green. I'm going for a darker blue. Oh. And we're back. So I have my three colors. I have blue, pink, and green. And we are going to throw this into a piping bag so that we can make some pretty designs with it. If you're not great at piping, don't even worry about it. You can just spoon it into a bowl and it'll be just fine. I'm kind of going to go for the a blop of each. That's the technical term. I get some color swirls in here. Noreen's technical term. Yeah. We'll just do a spoonful of each to start with. Yes. And if you don't have a handy helper like I do, I had a mixing bowl set over here or a measuring cup, and you could just do it that way as well. Just oh. put it into the. Oh, we're going to put in more than that. You can oh. put it in a measuring cup and have the measuring cup hold it. I'm just going to take a moment here while I fill up the rest of the bag. Okay, got the piping bag full. Full, really full. Probably more full than it should be. And heaven knows I'm not the best at piping, but let's give it a try and see what it looks like when we do this. It looks like it's helping you on its own. And yes, it is squishing out the top on me. We'll see if I can do this a little. Okay, not quite as defined as I thought it would be, but oh, I'm wearing it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, we have a disaster going on here. Yeah, Hang on. I mentioned this is our first time trying this. <laughs> All right. I have, honestly, I have piped icing before. I, We're starting to wonder if we have the wrong consistency. Maybe um, didn't whip it long enough, long enough or something. That's what I'm kind of thinking is maybe I didn't whip it enough. And I'm soldier on here. I'm losing any kind of design that I had from the little star tip on it. But I'm going to keep going. Okay, there's everything that we could pipe into the jars that we weren't wearing. You can see that the, the piping bag is empty. Um, not quite sure if we over whipped it or under whipped it. Those of you that use the whip soap base, could you please let me know? Did I not whip it enough or did I over whip it and it deflated? The ones that we've seen actually stack all the way up. Yeah. And then you put the lid on and it's... Uh, I didn't get but, that. I mean, hey, it's great soap. It we've does. We've been washing it, it off our hands for an hour now. <laughs> <laughs> it does whip up nice. But here's what I was going to do with those little gummy bears that I made yesterday. So we'll just pick some random colors and put a bear on the top and we're going to call it good, kids. We'll try this again soon. Oh, and, that uh, one's going to be see, there. Okay. See what we learn from this round and keep on getting better. Hopefully. So. Yeah. If suggestions are appreciated. Please don't come after me and tell me what an idiot I am. We're really nice people. 
<laughs> but like I said, we'll try this again, see if we can get a better texture in it. And, and I learned yesterday that I added a bit of too much vegetable oil when I was making the little gummy bears. <laughs> I don't think these are going to set up any more than they are right now. But hey, if you want to follow along with our it's, adventures... And, and we've got semi-liquid hand soap, so yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to come along with us and adventure in soap making with us, come on along. We're going to try this again and try... I'm not sure quite what, but we'll figure out something. And uh, it'll probably be the, the, the melt and pour just because this was interesting. But we, we will try this again. For all you out there who are watching on our YouTube channel, thank you. Appreciate um, it. We love likes, of course. Um, and if you have any suggestions, let us know. Okay. Um, we'll be back around with a different type of soap. And we've also got an adults and crafts for those of you who watch us a lot. So. But in the meantime, take care. Be safe. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> okay. Just because everything's better with a bit of sparkle. I've got this eco glitter that I literally just got. So we're going to hit it the top of these with just a little bit of the sprinkles. Try to hide my horrible piping and or bad consistency. There we go. And I'm done. Let me know what you think.